Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel, and hello if you are new. My name is Elizabeth here at Lizzie Loves Life, and today I am going to do my kitchen must-haves video. So these are all of kind of the kitcheny tools that we love and use on almost a daily basis, but there are certain things for certain items. You guys know what I'm talking about. I also plan on doing a toddler kitchen must have for a toddler eating utensil video but for this video it's basically just kind of the basics cooking utensils things like that that we have loved and then i recommend you guys try out first thing that we cook all the time is pizza or non-pizza or whatever so the first thing that i recommend mine looks a little old and used is a pizza stone for your oven i just kind of keep this in the top rack of my oven that way when you warm up your oven to 425 375 however you cook your pizza the stone gradually gets warmer and cooks it just makes a nice crust for your pizza other than doing like a cookie sheet or something like that the other thing we like to use is this kind of wooden pizza board as well so we will kind of like get our pizza and stuff ready on the board toppings all that kind of stuff i'll use a spatula and put it onto the hot pizza stone and then when it's ready you just put it on your board pull it out and you can cut it from the board those are ideal when you're trying to make your own pizza especially at home so typically we do make majority of our pizzas at home and don't get it out too often because we found a nice way to cook them another item that we have found a better way to cook it so we do it I could not even tell you the last time we have ever ordered chicken wings out at a fast food restaurant, in the restaurant, anything like that. And that's because we found the best way to cook it. And what I highly recommend you guys get is this. I got this actually from Amazon and basically it is like a cake tin or I guess a 9 by 13 pan, but it has this little like cooling rack, I guess you can say, kind of thing on it. So it has these little stands so that way you can put it in and you just kind of sit it into your pan like so what i like to do though for easy cleanup is to put aluminum foil underneath it so it's in between the actual rack and the pan itself so it's hardly any cleanup and all that kind of grease and stuff from the wings aren't kind of all over your pan if you know what i'm talking about but this is the best way to cook wings i just kind of put it in for 40 minutes flip it over 30 minutes on the other and it just is so nice leaves them crispy and just perfect way to cook chicken wings i also filmed like a what's for dinner so i'll link that down below for you guys who are interested in seeing how i make mine but i highly recommend you guys cook it with that pan with the rack that's just the best way to make chicken wings everyone loves eggs and especially if you're baking and stuff like that sometimes they ask for egg whites or egg yolks instead of like the whole egg so this is a really neat kind of gadget because it is kind of like an egg separator I think. so when i'm baking or cooking anything you just kind of hook it on to the little side of your bowl and then crack the egg into it sometimes you have to kind of maneuver it so the egg whites separate but that way you can catch your egg whites and save your egg yolk use it for whatever different recipes that you have versus doing the crack and you get shells and all that kind of stuff this is the best way i have found to separate my eggs and it's a genius product the other thing too for if you're doing hard boiled eggs this is amazing i even gifted it to my sister but it's a egg timer so as you can see it is completely red but while it's in the water with the eggs it will start turning black around the edges and if you want a perfectly like soft or medium or hard boiled egg it would let you know from kind of where the color change is this is perfect i love this i never cook hard boiled eggs without it and then my cute little egg or egg handler egg spatula but it just kind of is the right fit to just kind of get those eggs out of the water or into the water these things are game changers when you are making hard boiled eggs or soft boiled eggs anything like that at home a another kind of kitcheny gadget is my kitchen like salad shear so this is a really neat product because it's really easy to make chopped salad you just kind of throw everything into a bowl 
put it into the bowl, kind of chop it up nicely, and you have yourself smaller pieces in a nicer chopped salad made from home. So these are perfect. I will link them and everything that I'm sharing with you guys in the description box for you're interested. And then this gadget, this will also be my toddler kind of must have kitchen gadget, but this is the OXO grape cutter. You can also use this for cherry tomatoes. And if you can see, it kind of will quarter the grapes and the cherry tomatoes almost perfectly. I have hardly had any bruising, anything like that. It just is so easy to kind of apply the grapes or tomatoes in here. Just use your thumb, push them down. I even had Jackson doing this with me. There's no way like he could really hurt himself with it. I guess he could if he wanted to, but I was with him, so yeah, it wasn't bad, but it's very easy to kind of do it. You can probably do up to two grapes or two grape tomatoes. And yeah, this is perfect for salads or feeding a little one toddler, like a little toddler, any kind of tomatoes, grapes, that kind of stuff. Another product that I use a lot, especially when I'm making my chicken wings or anything that has to do with chicken, is a meat thermometer. This one is from Weber and I really like it because it is a digital meat thermometer. And I know for a fact that chicken needs to at least be 165, 175 degrees for it to be fully cooked. That is something me and my husband like get picky about is if the chicken is undercooked, stuff like that. So I love this. It's really easy to clean. Just kind of wash it and then put it back in its little was this case I guess but I really recommend you guys get a meat thermometer if you haven't this one's really easy to read I've never really had to charge it I don't even know if it has a battery or whatnot but turn it on and off and you'll be just fine this next gadget is really neat if you have a lot of things going especially for pasta or parties things like that this is kind of a utensil holder and I'll share with you guys what it looks like let's say you have pasta going you have the sauce going, maybe you're basting or making bread as well. This can actually set up to have four. I've really only used it with three, especially for parties, and I kind of space out like that. But this is really nice because it doesn't stain or get all the sauces and stuff on your countertops. It kind of houses it in with this lip right here, and it's just really easy, and it doesn't make them fall over with the little walls and stuff they have for the utensils. These are perfect. They come in a whole bunch of different colors, so I will link them for you guys, but definitely a great little kitchen gadget. That brings me to my measuring cup, this gigantic measuring cup. This is actually from Mackenzie Childs. You can get it from Amazon. My grandparents actually gave this to us, and this houses all of my must-have kitchen utensils. All of the ones that are blue are from Kitchen Egg. They also have a bunch of different other colors, but I purchased them like in May around Mother's Day, and I highly recommend them. I use them all the time. I also recommend wooden spoons. Wooden spoons are like perfect for baking, cooking, anything. I love the ones that have the initials on it, so both of mine say E and J on it, so that is that. We th I think we got these from Williams Sonoma, but I'll see if I can link any that are kind of similar in the cards. And then we like to have our kind of rubber, what are these called, tongs? Just regular tongs, nothing crazy. And then a must have for cookies is this kind of cookie spatula. So much different than a regular spatula. Thinner, thick, like wider, longer, it's just, Ideal, I definitely recommend. What also came with the kind of kitchen utensils back there is it also came with measuring spoons and I don't think measuring cups. No, I have random old measuring cups that I need to upgrade, but comes with a really cute matching color measuring spoons as well. So if you're like me and you like to use your microwave to reheat things for your toddler or microwavable meals for lunch for yourself because it's just quick and easy, or just in general, I'd recommend you guys pick up this microwave plate. It is game changer, especially for not having to clean your microwave as often as you would need to with all the gunk and stuff that gets stuck on it. So basically all you do is put your food in, put this on top of it, and it catches any splatter, any juice, any anything like that. It has slits in the top, so it does kind of help steam and circulate the air and stuff like that but this has been a game changer for me not to have to scrub and clean out my microwave as often as 
I used to, so I definitely check this out. I do wash this maybe once a week, but not too bad, so check that out. Another little cleaning gadget I use in the kitchen all the time is from Lodge. These are the kitchen scrapers. If you have any sauce, any food stuck on your countertops, your stainless steel appliances, things like that, this is really easy to scrape that up. You may have seen it in a clean with me video here on my channel, but this will just kind of you scrape the food and it's just really easy to get it off versus you with your rag or your paper towel trying to scrub it off. This just makes it so easy and quick and doesn't scratch your surfaces. Next thing here comes in the set together. This is, this took us a while and then we figured out how to use it. This is actually a watermelon cutter. So we do have a big watermelon now. All you do is kind of cut it in two quarters, your watermelon, and then you just kind of push this in and it makes bite-sized pieces of watermelon for your toddler, for your guests, for your family, what have you. This is awesome and then also comes with a melon baller if you have cantaloupe, honeydew, what have you, and it just makes nice little presentation for your fruit. Other kind of necessities that I like to keep out. I love this, a little dirty, but this is my Hamilton Beach kind of water, what is this called? Kettle? Kettle, yes. Um, I use this to heat up water for hot chocolate, Godiva liqueur hot chocolate, oatmeal, random things like that. But I like that it's not on the stove and needing kind of to house there. This is just, you can plug it into the wall, perfect for dorm life. I think I've actually had this since I was in college because I just love hot chocolate and oatmeal and things like that. So definitely always have it here. I am definitely the type that needs hot chocolate in the summertime. I had it two days ago. Okay, so this next item is kind of a bigger item, but this is an air fryer from Caloric. And my husband uses this pretty much every day to make french fries, heat up chicken wings, what have you. And I like it way better than his grease fryer that he used to have. So much easier to clean up. Basically, it has a basket here that comes out with the button and just like the pan. And it's really easy to clean and what have you. Like I said, he makes it almost every day, pretty much. and not as bad as a greased one so definitely check this out if you're interested we've really enjoyed it and used it quite a bit so the last two things is my dish rack right here i will show you guys right here and i love this stuff so what i like to do is basically keep it out majority of the time at night time i will fold it up so this folds in and you can completely compact fold it up put it underneath your sink really easy to do that it comes in couple different colors. I have kind of like the rose gold color, but I really like it because it's really easy to clean and fold away, put away. So I highly recommend that. And the last thing you see me do and use all the time is with my KitchenAid. So I actually use my KitchenAid quite a lot for muffins, cookies, any kind of baking recipe. Highly recommend it. You can also get attachments for the top part. Has a couple of different beads right there but this is a must-have if you love to bake i also use this to kind of shred chicken and it's just perfect so that is everything for this kitchen must-haves let me know if you have any kitchen must-have items that you really enjoy using on an everyday or every week basis down in the comments below i'll have everything linked for you as well be sure to subscribe to stay connected with me for some cook with me videos. Also that toddler kitchen eating utensil video coming very soon. I have some other nice gadget products and stuff like that for your toddler that I'd love to share with you guys. So be sure to subscribe and I'll talk to you guys in my next one. Stumbling out of bed and I still got you in my head from all those pretty words you said. It's like I'm wasted. Every time I see your face, I'm losing track of time and space I don't know where I am, it's like I'm wasted And I won't waste it